There are so many different aspects of Jim. Jim is incredibly smart, first and foremost, and has this unwavering work ethic. When he wants something, there's absolutely no stopping him. He has influenced my life in ways I can't even imagine. He's been a fantastic role model for me and my brother and sister. They adore him. I do admire him because he puts a lot of effort in everything and he tries to be the best that you can be. Oh, he's very funny and smart. He helps teach us lots of things. He helps me with my homework and he brings like a, a good attitude to everything. So he's very encouraging and very loving. He loves us a lot. Swimming has been such an important aspect of Jim's life. He went to Stanford on a swimming scholarship. He swam in the Olympic trials, I believe twice. He continued to swim after college and continues to be active in uh, master swimming. When he was diagnosed with cancer, the way that he knew that he wasn't right was through his swimming. He just couldn't swim the way that he had been in the past. In large part, swimming helped save his life. The diagnosis came. Quite surprisingly, uh, it was his 50th birthday year. A lot to celebrate. We had a three-year-old, a five-year-old, and then an 11-year-old, and life was great. Everything was golden. He had retired from his job of 20-something years and um, working with an amazing man, Chip Gillis, and putting together a business of their own. We've just completed the capital raise for our new company. I got a call from Jim one night um, to say he had some bad news for me and I may have acute leukemia. And I said, look, we'll hit the pause button. You'll be back and we'll be back. He took that fight on just like he would any other. He just sort of sat there and took the chemo and did the treatments like a champ, like he has basically his whole life. Jim had a chemo and radiation as part of his treatment. He did have an exercise bike in the room at Cedars, so when he felt up to it, he would get on the bike and just, just ride, because that felt normal to him. When he, they considered him to be in remission, he received a bone marrow transplant, and his stem cell donor was his sister Krista, who is his angel. Well, we say it's been eight glorious years since he first was diagnosed, and he has really made a complete, full recovery. Sometimes it's hard for us to even believe. And Ironically, uh, the postponement of the launch of the business turned out to be a, a blessing. Uh, we launched in 2009, the best year we could have ever picked. Uh, we had quick success. The company is now over 60 billion in size and has over 1,100 employees. Jim, it's an honor to be your wife and for you to be the father of our children. I am so delighted that you're being honored here tonight in this special way. I love you.